See your mama and the candles and the tears and roses. I see your daddy walk his daughter down the aisle. Feel my knees start to tremble as I tell the preacher, Don't she look beautiful tonight? All the wonderful words in my head I've been. Emotions. Absolutely. At this moment, we want to take a very special moment to honor those who are no longer with us. They truly are a contributing factor to the reason why we are here at this very moment right now. If it was not for their love and their life, this love would not exist today. So we thank God for them and fill their spirit with us. 
even now. Amen, everyone? Amen. Amen. And now, who gives this woman to be married to this man? Amen. Come on. You may give her up. Losing <laughs> some flowers. It's all right. You no, you give me, shake me up first. Thank you. There we go. Love you, guy. Love you too. Good. All right, ready? Yeah. I guess I can't get you good. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all come forward. Or she was going for it, wasn't she? Right. Y'all come forward. Whenever you're ready. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you ready? Amen. Come on, right. you get on this side. No, you. What? Here, come over here. You're good. Come on, Watch your dress. Take your Watch time. Watch your dress. Turn and face each other. We're going to get everything just right. Everybody, please be seated. These pictures last forever. Take your time fixing the dress. And it's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Bob, go ahead and sit. Look at you. You look good. Nothing to be touched. Nothing to be touched. <laughs> First and foremost, doesn't Laura look breathtakingly beautiful? Let's hear it for our body. Amen. Amen. <laughs> She's owning it. <laughs> First thing we're all going to do is we're just going to take a big, deep breath. We're going to breathe this in. Look around at our friends and family. Y'all can take a gander. <laughs> and this beautiful surroundings and just drink in this moment. I'm going to say a few things that are on purpose. Funny to help these two relax so that they'll remember what's being said when we enter into the formal ceremony. Now, before I get to the funny things, I want you all to know that everything in this ceremony, everything in this ceremony came from their combined hearts. So really listen to these beautiful words when we get to them. Now back to the funny things. This is participatory, so I need to know you all are with me before I can do it. So at the count of three, I want to hear you all loudly say amen. Let's see if you can make an echo. Y'all ready? One, two, three. Amen. amen. Maybe, maybe. Got a little advice over here for Corey. If y'all agree with me, I want to hear a loud amen. Are y'all ready? Let's just get him on up here. Yeah. He knows he's all about Come family, on, too. Come on, buddy. You, you want to see your whole daddy? Okay. okay. There we go. All right. You're good. You bring it's the orange okay. over here, buddy. Yes. <laughs> We're good. We're good. All right. We're great, actually. Amen. <laughs> amen. Okay. So I got a little advice here for Corey. If y'all agree with me, I want to hear a loud amen. Are y'all ready? You ready? He's looking at me like, what's he going to say? <laughs> <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Corey? You're either right or you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, you may be the head of this household, but your wife, she's the neck. She can turn that head any way she wants it to go. Mm -hmm. I knew she'd like that one. I got one more I want to do. Y'all let go of your hands for a minute. I want you to put yours just straight in the air just like that. Just right like that. Let me have this one. Put it right there. Have that one. Put it right. This is my last funny one. I want y'all to enjoy this moment, especially you, Corey, because this may be the very last time Corey has the upper hand. <laughs> he does not want to put his hands down. I, I know, right? <laughs> All right, y'all ready to dive in? Let's take one more deep, deep breath. And here yeah. we go. <laughs> On behalf of Corey and Laura, welcome everyone. We are gathered here in the presence of God to join these two in holy matrimony. We're here to celebrate the marriage of two best friends. More than a ceremony. This is a significant moment of celebration and personal commitment. The essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in their entirety as both a companion and as a friend. It is therefore a decision not entered into lightly, but with great consideration and with respect. From this day forward, you two will come closer than ever before. You'll promise to love one another in sickness and in health, for better and for worse, but at the same time. Your love for each other will give you strength to stand and seek your unique destinies. Amen. And now for what we call the declaration of intent. As you're holding hands, Corey, look into your bride's eyes and listen to these beautiful words you're about to hear. Corey, do you take Laura to be? To be. To be. You could not have had better timing. How much are y'all paying for that fee to be here right at that time? That's really all I can hear is be in my ear. Take your time, take your, take your time. Y'all know 
Somehow you're coming to a blank show. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to go smooth. <laughs> just, just be. Yeah, just be. <laughs> We're being. We're being. That's right. Corey, look at your bride's eyes before the bee comes back. <laughs> Corey, do you take Laura to be your wife? Do you commit your wife to her? Embracing all joys and sorrows, all triumphs and hardships. Do you promise to be there for her when she needs your support? <laughs> Corey, please answer by saying, I do. I do. Amen. Laura, as you look into your groom's eyes, listen to these words. Laura, do you take Corey to be your husband? Do you promise and commit to him? Your whole life, embracing all joys and sorrows, all triumphs and hardships. Do you promise to be there for him when he needs your support? Laura, please answer by saying, I do. I do. <laughs> I don't think it gets much more country than that. <laughs> I love it. We have something really special we are about to do. Give us a moment to prepare. I need to hand it down. There we go. I'll just do that for you. This is what we call the words of affirmation. These two have written letters of love for one another. Neither knows what the other one has said until shared at this very moment. You need a minute? Fifteen. Are you serious? Let's do Corey's first. We're going to do Corey's first. Okay. Oh, hell. All right. Hey, make sure it's running. Get it up and running. That's all right. Well, just don't touch it. Okay. Well, good. Is it running? We're okay. Just rolling right. with it as it That's goes. right. Roll with it, baby. Good. Good. So I want you to take a deep breath. These two have written letters of love for one another. Neither knows what the other one has said until shared at this moment in time. And, Are you, and I'm going you need to. A minute? You just smell so good, girl. You're just like a flower. That's all it is to it. If that thing stings and, me, words it, are he, coming out. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone now. He's gone. So I want you to take a deep breath. And I'm going to get out of the way, and I'm going to let you enter in at this, at your leisure. Enjoy this journey. <laughs> Sorry, I made you go first, Phil. Uh, that's all right. Might as well do it. <laughs> Laura, the night we met, I never imagined I'd be standing here today in front of friends, family. I mean, getting married to you, it's, it's a dream come true. I would have never in my wildest dreams thought I'd find a woman like you. I remember the, our first date. And you didn't actually tell me this till probably months later. But you mentioned by the end of that date, you could already picture your marriage or your wedding with me. And I hope all of this is what you wished for and it's coming true right now. From the first day we met, you've always been my rock and my best friend. And I can't thank you enough for that. You're always so compassionate and giving when you don't have to. And you always push me to be a better man. Two years ago, you gave us our beautiful son, Dakota. A son that I thought I'd never have. I thought I'd never get the chance to be a father. Every day that I look into your eyes, I see Dakota, and it reminds me of how lucky I am to have you as his mother. Seeing you play and laugh with Dakota just fills my heart with joy and it makes me fall in love with you every day, all over again. You are the best, most phenomenal mother and partner I could ever ask for. Today is not given. Sorry, I lost my spot. <laughs> <laughs> today is not given and tomorrows are never promised so I promise today and for the rest of my life I will do my best to always encourage you and be compassionate to you 
to always be that shoulder for you to lean on when things get a little rough. I promise I will always make sure you always get your Chipotle and Jimmy John's fix. <laughs> because nothing makes me happier than seeing you do your happy dance for food. <laughs> I love seeing your happy sideways smile when I come home from work and you wrap your arms around me every day to ask how my day was even though I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I couldn't imagine how beautiful you would look walking down that aisle. And words cannot describe what I'm feeling right now. The light you give off when you walk into a room, there's nothing that matches it. And as soon as you see the room, you take over it. You dominate it. <laughs> That's you, and I love it about you. I will promise to always make you first. Because a lifetime will never be long enough for me to show you how I truly feel about you. It's you and me till the end, and I couldn't think of a better place than right next to you. These are my vows to you. Everybody said amen. 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 Just cross your fingers. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be it. I tried to read slow. Ten more minutes. <laughs> we'll do other stuff. In the we'll do other we'll stuff circle in the back. That, I love that. That will work just fine. On the fly, y'all. That's right. On the beat. Just wing it. Yeah. We didn't plan this. We're, we're going to do something really special right now. And before we do, I want you to wipe your forehead. This part we call the hand ceremony. So, Laura, I want you to take Corey's hands and yours, palms up, his hands towards the sky and on top. View his hands as a gift. These are the hands that will work alongside yours. As together, you build your future. As together, you laugh and cry. And together, you share your innermost secrets and dreams. And now, Corey, if you would, please take Laura's hands and yours, palms up. View her hands as a gift. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness as she promises her love and commitment to you all the days of her life. Amen. And now, Clint, take your time. May we have the ring. Actually, let me have that. Go ahead and get the other one. That's okay. <laughs> you may hold that. Hand it to her. Hand that to her. There you go. You may do that. There you go. I saw it. That's all right. <laughs> Y'all hold left hand to left hand. We knew this wasn't going to be smooth. This, this is what family's all about. Hold left hand to left hand. Left that's left. Right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Just take a deep breath, y'all. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Just enjoy this moment that you are about to do, that you've waited for a while to do. The giving and receiving of rings symbolizes your love for one another, which knows no end. So may these rings be truly blessed as a symbol of your unity. Corey, as you look into your bride's eyes, for this moment, just repeat after me and later put the ring on. Laura, I choose you to be my wife. Laura, I choose you to be my wife. This day and forevermore. This day and forevermore. And with this ring. And with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In love and in truth. In love and in truth. As the circle of this ring. As the circle of this ring. Knows no end. Knows no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. Please wear it always. Please wear it always. As a symbol of my everlasting love. As a symbol of my everlasting love. Amen. Corey, you may enjoy this journey and put the ring on Laura's finger. Take your time. Amen. Y'all just rotate hands. Oh, well, you got to see her ring later, y'all. It's absolutely beautiful. Right. So now that you're holding hands that way, look into your groom's eyes. And for this moment, just repeat after me. 
Corey, I choose you to be my husband. Corey, I choose you to be my husband. This day and forevermore. This day and forevermore. And with this ring. And with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In love and in truth. In love and in truth. As the circle of this ring. As the circle of this ring. Knows no end. Knows no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. Please wear it always. Please wear it always. <laughs> that was more of a command than a vow. <laughs> As a symbol of my everlasting love. <laughs> as a symbol of my everlasting love. Amen. You may enjoy Amen. this journey as well and put the ring on his finger. Okay. Amen. I thought I was still repeating you. Put it. Awesome. <laughs> love it. And it's a beautiful ring, too. Oh, we got something really special we're going to do. Before we do, we're just going to see what the timing is like. Seven minutes. Okay. I'm going to put this right back here. That'll probably be perfect for what we're going to do here in just a minute, okay? As a matter of fact, we're going to do this right now for that time's sake. Perfect. We were going to do it right for the letter, but I want you all to see this beautiful Bible. This Bible, all Bibles have amazing significance, but this one has incredibly specific significance. This was Corey's grandfather's Bible. And when Corey's grandfather left this world to be with his father, Corey saw this Bible. And when he opened it up, it was open to what some call the wedding chapel, chapter or the love chapter. And I wanted y'all to know I have their marriage license right next to it where their hearts are closest to it. Isn't that one of the prettiest licenses in the state of Texas? It really is. And I'm going to read this, and I want you all to know this is one of the oldest versions of King James. Not the oldest, but close to it. So some of this you may not understand, but we want to honor grandfather with this Bible being read out loud. Listen to these words. Hold hands. When you listen to these words about charity, every time you hear the word charity, it's the word love. All right, here we go. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and can understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have a faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemingly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoketh no evil, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth, rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth. But where there is prophecies, they shall fail. Where there is tongues, they shall cease. Where there is or where there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect comes, then that which is in part shall Done, be done away. When I was a child, I spake like a child, understood like a child, and I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put childish ways behind me, or childish things behind me. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know, even as I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, and charity. These three but the greatest of these is charity. And in our vernacular, I'm going to say some of this to just sum it all up and to bond your hearts together in love. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I'm a resounding gong or a clinging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I'm nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body, to the flames to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love, love is patient. Love is kind. 
It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered, even when a bee comes flying around. <laughs> Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is truly love. And if you two pattern your love for each other in the way God has instructed, your marriage will always be strong. Amen, everyone? Amen. 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 Let's see. Oh, seven minutes. Wasn't it seven minutes ago? Yes. Let's do a We're going to do some more. We're going to do some more. We keep rolling, y'all. We enjoy this journey. It's, so bad. it's all right. I remember like two words right now. That's okay. Of course, <laughs> it's easy to do that. I understand that. So what we're going to do next is really going to be cool and beautiful. I'm going to turn this where the Bible can be seen in the pictures. Let me put this like that. I'm going to put it like that right there. And then, perfect timing, buddy. We want you here right now. So I'm going to get out of the way, and I want y'all to come over here on this table. Gentlemen, back up that way a little bit. Look at his sand, buddy. There you go. All right, we're going to do a beautiful family sand ceremony. And I want y'all to go ahead and start blending them all together as one family. And listen to these words as you do that. Today you're making a lifelong commitment to share the rest of your lives with each other. Your relationship is symbolized through the pouring of these individual containers of sand. One representing you, Laura, all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. The other one representing you, Corey, all that you were, all that you are, <laughs> and all that you will ever be. And the third container is for Dakota and represents who he is as a son, a truly unique individual deeply loved by Corey and Laura. As each of you hold your sands, the separate containers of sand represent your lives to this very moment. As you are combining your sands together, your lives join together as one couple and as one family. Blend back and forth and enjoy the blending of Darling, so we go. Some things are meant to be. Take my hand. Take my heart. Okay. Awesome, buddy. It's all or nothing. <laughs> First or last. And everybody said amen. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated, so shall you two and you three together forever be one couple and one family. And later, everyone, y'all need to come see this because it is so pretty and what all it says on here in a beautiful pattern. You did good, buddy. Y'all help her with her dress when she comes back around. Thank you. Oh, it's open. Yes. Amen. Perfect timing. I know. Perfect timing. It was supposed to be yes. shared mm -hmm. here and now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Laura, take a deep breath. Yeah. Wait till Corey's home. Turn and look She's into going. your bride's eyes. And you take your time and enter in at your leisure. And right. We can wait for a minute if we need to. I'll take my 18 okay. minutes. Yes. <laughs> enter in. Enjoy. Corey. <clears throat> Before we met, I was an untamable gypsy, forever blowing in whichever way the world took me, never really believing I'd find my place or a true home in this world. Little, do I, little did I know the, app, the impact a little app called Bumble would have with a swipe to the right on my life. <laughs> when we went on our first date at Top Golf three years ago, something inside me said, I just knew that you were the one that I always dreamed of finding. As I sat at the bar watching a tall, handsome, dark, and hazel-eyed man walk towards me in some jeans and boots, the cliché of when you know you know completely took me over. That night, I envisioned us getting married in the country, and here we stand today living out that idea of a dream into 
be in our current reality. What we didn't know from that first date is all the incredible things that were soon to be our future <clears throat> and now our present. In just our first year, we became parents and got to know each other through a grueling pregnancy. There were so many times I was so sick and exhausted and I couldn't understand how or why a man could still love me so much when all I did was just roll around on a giant belly <laughs> whining about how sick our giant boy was making me feel. <laughs> we were given every reason to fail as a couple and yet, no matter how hard things were, we always found a way to overcome the obstacle, and just and every each of those struggles just brought us closer. You showed me a type of unconditional love that I never believed to be true. You are the calm to every storm I find myself in, and the one person that can tame that can tame the ocean and truly keep me afloat. Since I met you, you best blessed me with the most incredible son, and the best family I could have ever asked for. <laughs> Thanks, Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> Fetch. How about the ball ceremony? <laughs> <laughs> We're having a ball. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for making an honor. Amen. Let's hear for our matron of honor. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go back once. You're fine. <laughs> Since I've met you, you've blessed me with the most incredible son <laughs> and the best family I could have ever asked for. You're the most amazing father to, to Dakota, and I could not be more thankful that he gets to grow up following in your footsteps. You mean everything to me, and without you, I would always be lost, forever looking for a piece to my own puzzle that could just never be whole again. I know I can be a real pain in the ass, <laughs> especially when I sleepwalk and sleep talk in the middle of the night. <laughs> And I thank you for always loving me, regardless of all my quirks, less than feminine moments, <laughs> and emotional struggles that I bring to our relationship. One thing I know for sure is that we are surrounded by some of the best people that I've ever met in our entire life. And I know that together we can get through anything that tries to get in our way, including COVID and snow apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> As your wife, I promise to love you and always love you with all my heart. And words cannot say how excited I am to finally be Mrs. White. Amen. Everybody said amen. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was awesome. I couldn't have remembered that. <laughs> uh, that was worth the wait. Amen, y'all. Amen. Thank you. That's why you can just have your kid when you're done. Okay. Take your time. Take your time. I'm not good at that. You were awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. I want to say something right here, right now. With everything you just said, if ever there was a couple that shows to this world, no matter what's going on, you are that couple that shows to the world, love prevails. Amen, everybody? Amen. Amen. All right, I want you all to hold hands, maybe a little tighter than ever before, and how those rings feel on your finger. Don't they feel good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you look into each other's eyes, listen to these amazingly beautiful words you're about to hear. May you love deeply. Laugh heartedly, as we've already been doing a little bit today. <laughs> Practice patience and smile often. May you dream together, grow, be crazy every once in a while, give, give in, and trust enough to take. May you see many sunrises, listen to the rain, and savor special moments. May you rediscover each other over and over. Listen carefully and always, always have open hearts. How could you even feel that? It wasn't even there yet. It's so loud. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. No, you're good, you're good. May you have health, including a beast thing not happening. <laughs> May you have health, happiness, and a lifetime of rich adventure. By the power vested in me, y'all ready for this? By the laws of the great state of Texas and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. Corey, you may kiss your wife. Let's hear it from everybody. <laughs> I think they sealed it, y'all. <laughs> y'all turn towards crowd, hook up arm. Get your flowers back. Oh, yeah. There you go. Spread it out real pretty for us. Hey, everybody. Get on your feet. Thank you.
I want to thank you all for your participation. This is what love and family is all about. Amen, everybody? Amen. Amen. I now present to you all and to the world for the first time as husband and wife. I want to hear it now. Are y'all ready? Mr. and Mrs. Corey and Laura Wood!